How do everyone? Welcome back to another Thursday edition, which means, as you know, if you've watched this channel before, I am flying solo and it is mainly all about the revisits today. I'm in Eastwood. Eastwood. Clint Eastwood. You know, I'm sorry about that, but I like Back to the Future. Eastwood, anyway, town in Nottinghamshire, lovely little town. I've done it all before, barring I think I've got two new ones on me today. There is going to be a Thai restaurant. They messaged on the Facebook page, said, could we come and visit? Hey, I'm always up for finding you guys good places to eat in little towns when I'm out doing the pub crawl. So let's see what their food is like. That's called Mimi's Kitchen. And we've got uh, Phoenix Q Sports. So it's a pool snooker hall type place, Q Sports. Didn't do that before. So we're gonna do that as well to add in, which should give me a grand total to their 14, unless I find anything else. We're not venturing outside of the Eastwood part. This is Hilltop where I'm starting, which is part of Eastwood still. We're not doing Giltbrook today. We're gonna do that in a separate video. So I'm gonna press on straight away with stop at number one of the Gresley Castle. So this uh, and the next two, a little thing called the Hilltop Triangle, just at the end of Eastwood. Two lovely micro pubs to go, Pick and Davy, Tap and Growler, including in this little Hilltop Triangle. Gresley Castle, up first. I really like it, it's a great place to start. So this little Hilltop Triangle, the two micro pubs and everything else, it's a really friendly little place. Clive the Landlord, he's a really friendly chap. It's a lovely booze of this. And you've got on, if I don't fall over a child, you've got on. <laughs> So one of them is a BG6 coming from Blue Monkey. Yeah, you don't get more local than that. Brewed just down the road, literally in Giltbrook. It does not get any more local than that with what you can get. But it's a lovely pub, plenty of space in here, child friendly, as you can see. Lovely, lovely boozer, lovely, always friendly. Got a nice little outdoor space and things as well. It is a really good, really good little pub, really great little place to start today. I really like Gresley Castle, really friendly place. Very nice landlord, very nice people to drink. Just there, so it's that blueberry where I walked, so I walked straight across the road. And I come to stop number two, first market pub of the two, Pick and Davy, which is my second stop of the day. Two of the Hilltop Triangle into the Pick and Davy, one of the two micro pubs on this triangle. For the hat to local mining community, you've got all the history and stuff up on here, which is lovely. It's beautifully decked out in here, look. Lovely little place. All the, uh, all the stuff, it's, just, it's great to look at, but these are the gems, or some six real ales on in here and i've gone for something that's a little bit different for me i've gone for the dark drake i've never tried that one before from dancing duck do like dancing duck a lot and it is very very tasty lovely little place glad to be back in here glad to see it doing well lovely little outdoor space i've got here on the which is really busy it's, it's still early as well it's nice to see Eastwood so busy early on having a great day so far let's see where else we go pops up this dark drake from uh, from dancing duck brewery very, very interesting oatmeal stout, uh, and it's very, very enjoyable. So I'm not really a big fan of milk or oatmeal stouts normally. Thought I'd give it a whirl. Glad I did. Mm. Yeah, check that one out. The little micro pub that is. Uh, the ladies in there looked after me very, very well. It's a, a really nice little place. A minute's walk, then back down the road where uh, Gracie Castle is on the other side, so opposite the co op. And you come to the third of the triangle, the hilltop triangle, tap and growler. Lovely looking little micro. Absolutely love this last time we were here. I love all of Eastwood. I find Eastwood a really friendly place. Always welcoming and appealing whenever I come. So I'm, uh, I am think I'm going to be in store for a pretty good day today. So stop number three is going to be Tap and Growler. Number three, three, the the, uh, the, the the triangle complete. Lovely, lovely, lovely little micro. Wants to be a star. Hi, Billy. Billy, Billy was talking a minute ago, but he's got nothing to say for a minute now. Great ales and stuff on in here again. Look at these. And some wonderful crafts. And I've got, let's see, I'm, look, I'm sponsored today by Titanic. So I've Titanic Stout, which is here. And it is an absolute beauty. Last time I was here, I failed to see the beer garden. So I'm going to have a walk. Is it this way? It is. Well, technically, well, well, really, it's having to get the cans. So, see, uh, see, I can spend a long time in here with those Pop City cans, can I? We know that. <laughs> Thanks, Billy. <laughs> see, I told you Billy talked. Right, so we're going to go down and have a look at the beer garden because I've never seen the beer garden. And I was told to make sure I didn't miss it this time. Oh, this is lovely. They're lovely people in here again. Um, all of Eastwood, like I said, all of Eastwood is friendly. Yeah, what a great little space for, for the summer out here. All of Eastwood is really friendly, but I said here, Pick and Davy, Gresley Castle, especially this hilltop area, absolutely top notch. They've got a little festival going on between the three of them very soon. Uh, definitely check out the, the Facebook pages that are tagged in on our Facebook. Have a look at what they've got going on. Come down and see the pubs, because you'll love it. What a pub, uh, and what a little area that Hilltop Triangle really is. The Tap and Growler is, it's a 10 out of 10 for me. The, the Craft Ale offering and the Real Ale offering, whatever you want, you'll find it in there. 
and the landlady's lovely. It's just, it's a lovely welcome. The dogs are lovely. The customers are lovely. It's a, it's a lovely little place. And obviously being the oldest micro pub in Eastwood, 2015 it's been there since. So coming up for, for 10 years next year, that's good going um, to be in the same place in the same town uh, and still thriving. They're doing something right. And for me, they're doing a lot right. I think it's uh, a great little place. But onwards we go. So number four of the day is, it was a 10 minute walk. Um, not, not too bad a walk up on a back street. Could be missed, shouldn't be missed. Because from what I remember, it's a great pub. The Three Tons is my fourth stop of the day. It's a lovely pub, so definitely one of the oldest pubs in Eastwood. Mid 1800s this has been here since. It's a lovely, it's a lovely welcoming vibe in here. Lovely welcoming place. Got some London Pride on the hand pulls. If that's your, uh, if that's your tipple. Stella. Moretti. Moretti. <laughs> Paul Sabre here. You've got three dartboards up on the the other part, the back room and stuff as well. Two pool tables, in fact. So, three dartboards up through the room, up onto it. Uh, it's big on its sort of local pool, local darts leagues, things like that. Former place uh, where D.H. Lawrence, the writer, uh, his father, this was his, uh, his pub that he used to drink in. And this is actually mentioned. It used to be called the Moon and Stars, before it changed its name to the current Three Tons. Um, and it's actually mentioned in a, a D.H. Lawrence novel. There you go, how's that for a bit of local history for you? So this is sort of the, the high street through Eastwood. Obviously, D.H. Lawrence, being from around here, the, uh, there's a lot of D.H. Lawrence-themed stuff. The Vets is called Lawrence Vets, things like that. But you walk down the, the high street, and this is now pretty much where I'm going to be for the next three or four hours. Everything is really easily walkable. It's taken me two minutes to walk from the three tons to get to here, so not much walking to do at all to be able to get all of this Eastwood run done. And it's just, it's a lovely little place. My next stop, just up here, called the Game Keepers. Lovely little micro pub, free house. Uh, had some superb ales on, from what I can remember the last time I was in here. And it is just across the, just there, that green fronted building next to the estate agents that you might be able to make out. There we are, look. The Game Keepers free house. That, it's stop number five of the day. I'll show you around the pub first before I get embroiled in this. Some absolutely wicked stuff on in here. So I absolutely love this place. Anyway. Got some, all made locally. All made locally, yep. which we like. And I like the fact that in here, they have also got the Kings of Lager. So no, none of that rubbish like Fosters and Carling and rubbish that you see people in. They've got proper lagers on to complement the rest of them. So you see these Scotch eggs made two miles down the road at Beauville Baker. So I've just met Tony. Tony's son's made this and I've been challenged to have a bite of this and see what I think. Now anybody that knows me knows I love a scotch egg. Just look. Look at this. So these are available. These are available to buy in here all the time. Thursdays and Fridays. Huh? Thursdays and Fridays. Well, we'll see how good it is because they might all be gone in a minute. So, yeah, they might be. I mean, look at that. Look how beautiful that is. Look at that. So let's try this together. Mmm. Oh my well. Look at that. That's a 10. That's a 10 out of 10. That is everything a Scotch egg should be. Look at the yolk. Look. Look at that. That is phenomenal. Beauville. Priory Bakers. Beauville Priory Bakers. Two miles away from here. But if you're quick on a Thursday and Friday, you can pick them up from here. And I would suggest you do so because it's amazing. Mm. I mean, I love a Scotch egg. I've had Scotch eggs, like authentic Scotch eggs in Edinburgh when we did the Edinburgh pub crawl. I had some like, proper author, but that, mind-blowingly good. 10 out of 10 for the Scotch egg. 10 out of 10 for the pub again. I so said the, the gamekeeper. It is a, a wonderful little place. Simon that runs that, top chap. Obviously very passionate about what he does, about his offering, and it shows. It shines through because the whole of that is an absolute gem. An absolute 10 out of 10. Love it. So, five down, nine to go. Next stop, Green King Pub. Wellington Inn, a bit more of a locals, fun pub type atmosphere from what I remember the last time. So that is stop number six. I want to try and say things in foreign languages, so like numero, and then I'm like, I don't know the number. I will learn, a, yeah, you know what? I know that Rosetta Stone and learn a new language while I'm doing something. Scotch egg banging, Wellington Inn number six. There you go, what I need to say really, wasn't it? Great little locals, but they were playing Sticky 13s when I got in pubs. So they're pretty standard Green King stuff. No, uh, it looks like they normally have Abbott on, but it's not on the bar at the moment. <laughs> Lovely. Five star. Oh, everything's five star. Eastwood's five star. Eastwood's five star. Wave. I met Sarah again. We've met Sarah before. 
Sarah, Sarah knew, you said she said she knew me before I was famous. Yeah. Famous? <laughs> Absolutely not, brother. Famous, but yeah. Uh, oh, uh, great day, I'm having a great day. Six down, eight to go. Being friendly in the Wellington, it really is. Uh, and I just met the cutest little pub dog. She is the pub dog as well called Luna. Gorgeous little sausage dog, and I mean gorgeous. So I had a bit of a fuss. So I'm all happy because I fussed the dog. Fussed a lot of dogs today, actually. East was great for dog friendly pubs and uh, people bringing their dogs out. What more could you want? It just makes people happy, doesn't it? Like fussing a dog. I love fussing a dog. Probably helps that I've got Labradors, isn't it? But, uh, anyway, uh, two minute walk down the road from the Green King Pub to Wellington. The town's Wetherspoons. The Lady Chatterley. There's a story behind, like, I'm not going to go into it. But those, uh, those of you who are over 18, you should all be over 18 if you're watching my videos, uh, can look her up on the internet, Lady Chatterley. She had a lover. That's all I'm going to tell you. But yeah, named after Lady Chatterley. Uh, so, this is stop number seven, or halfway through. It's a, it's a, it's a long, narrow one. Uh, the carpet is hideous. I, know miss. I mean, what even is that? Who on earth? has okayed that to have been the carpet. Um, this is the back part of it. Uh, Skylight and that one. Always busy every time I've been in here. Um, so 12 minutes. I, I just tried to try the table service out, which I do sometimes when I go to Spoons, because rather than stand at the bar, like, I can get my notes done while I'm sat and do me rest of the bits while I'm waiting. But yeah, 12 minutes to get half an hour ago. It's not even that busy, so not the fastest. Uh, a minute I've been an Ashby Delazouche one though, don't get me started on them. Yeah, it's not, it's not the best, but it's, yeah, all in all, it's not It's not a bad Spoons. Um, the staff are friendly enough. It's got all the classic spoon stuff that you would expect to have. It's what it is, isn't it? Web space. Lager. I used to drink lager. I used to love lager. Now it's love lager. Spoons, spoons. 30 seconds down the road. Cross over onto the other side. Find another banging little micro pub. Hidden the way, this one. Little. The sign is there. So, that spoons. Just there, that red uh, building on the left. Next to Iceland. Kind of a Meadows Muse. And he's hidden the way. At the back. Down this little alley. At the bottom. Really beautiful little presented place. Was really pleased to have seen it last time I was here because we, we'd missed it, I think, the first time we came to Eastwood, didn't know it was here. Found it on a second trip to Eastwood and really, really enjoyed it. So, Meadows Muse, stop number eight. Honestly, I love it in here. It's a modern feeling. It's a modern feeling with some decent, uh, decent bits and stuff on. But in here, great quality stuff. And Juice Forsyth on a tap, which I love to see because it is a wicked, wicked beer. Anyway, very popular in the summer, especially when with summer coming round. Can't go wrong with a thing like that. Got all the lilies in down there as well. Lovely looking little place, isn't it? Little yard outside. They'd hidden away, but perfectly tucked away. So we, we came in here, the first time we came in here was on a Saturday. And as you couldn't move, it was jam packed. Run by a lovely lass called Jasmine. Really nice, friendly environment. Really good beers on. She's knowledgeable, knows her stuff. This is well worth seeking out if you don't know where it is. Find it, watch the video, find it, come down here and, and, and you, won't, you won't be disappointed in it. It is mega. I think Meadows Muse is fantastic. A purpose built micro pub. Jasmine running that. So her dad built it. <laughs> I can't keep it more in the family than that, can you? He built it and they're running it themselves now. But she, she's knowledgeable, she's friendly, she's articulate, she knows her stuff, she's, she's very passionate about the beer she's got on and, and knows how to, to talk to people about them as well, which just makes it even better. So it's a really, really top little stop off. In, uh, in East with that. Very, very happy to, to go in Meadows Muse every time I come to, to, to East with, to be honest. So, first new one of the crawl, first new one today. This was one that I said I, I knew nothing about. People shouted out on Facebook and then said, oh, go and, go and stop in here. So, it's a Thai restaurant and bar. It does say Thai restaurant, bar, and takeaway called Mimi's Kitchen. Lovely looking little place. That, so, set just, just down, uh, I'm on the walk up, up the main road, and I've come, that's the main road there where that white car is. Just a little stop off there brings you to this. Wonderful little back street place called Mimi's Kitchen. I'm very much looking forward to, uh, to getting in here and, and having a beer. Right, so I'm putting the rice coming to the kitchen. How often does this happen? But look at some of this. Everything here is homemade. And you, oh, honestly, you, if you could smell through the camera, you would see exactly what I'm, uh, what I'm seeing right now. It is phenomenally and, done. And street food, Thai street food. And Thai street food. And what is this? Coconut rice. Coconut rice, look at that. This is coconut rice. Coconut rice, that looks and smells phenomenal. But just, and, uh, have... it is. This stuff looks absolutely phenomenal, absolutely melting. I wish I had time to eat. Oh, look at this. What is this dish? Uh, green curry with prawns. Thai green curry with prawns. Yes. Again, wow. This, we use, everything is fresh. Wow. We don't do frozen here. I don't blame you. 
I can guarantee you. Honestly, when you can cook like that and you can make it smell and look as good as that, why would you do frozen? Honestly, this is a wonderful little place, hidden away on the back street. Please do seek this out. Come down. It's, it's family run and it is just exceptional. Yeah, You'll love it. Run. Come and see them. Wow, there's not much more you can say about it. Yeah, I mean, the food in there, the passion. But honestly, I, I wish I'd got time to eat because those Thai green curries looked amazing. So that is definitely something you should check out. I mean, there, there seems to be a wealth of There's a, a, a Gurkha, so Nepalese and Indian, uh, and a couple more Thai offerings on the, on the main high street. But seriously, duck down because sometimes you find that family run ones on the little side streets are the real hidden gems of the town. So yeah, definitely go check them out and go and look at it. Here he is, here he is. It's Dave that runs the dog and parrot honking at me with his bike. Here he is. Up is gonna be Oliver's Pub and Kitchen. I'm in there. Let's go and wind Dave up for a minute. We're gonna finish at the dog and parrot tonight because it is a wonderful establishment. Next up, Oliver's. So, loads of stuff happening over here and it is a wicked, it's a wicked little place. This is a, it's a late night party vibe. You can watch a sport. You know a bit of everything here. Great menu, right, brand new menu coming 1st of May. So we're in a bit of a refurb and stuff at the moment. So there's a little bit, uh, a little bit of a change. The kitchen, from what I remember last time, used to be over the kitchen. Literally, you can see the chefs cooking in from the window. Now, AI, bit of darts, pool table around the sides. Wicked little vibe in it. Lovely, I mean, it's, it's run by a nice fella. Stand a bit and said, they're not, they're not trying to be a real ale pub because you've got a real ale pub over the road. So what do you want another real ale pub? So they are doing everything else that you need at this end of town to bring the people in and show that this is, a, this is a different kind of vibe to what that is. Watch this new menu at first of May, Carvery every Sunday and Wednesday coming. I like it, it's great for this end of town and it's a little bit different than everything else that's going up here. Absolutely brilliant, just look at this. Look at this cutie. <laughs> Hi sweetheart, aren't My you? My girlfriend. Aren't you the best? Aren't you the best? And I'm gonna be happy for the rest of the day because that's another beautiful doggy I've tried. Wicked place, love it. Uh, Please see Oliver's doing well. Uh, Kane that runs it, he knows his stuff. Sounds like they've got big things happening. The new menu sounds like it's going to be incredible, so definitely keep your eyes open for that. <laughs> it's totally different to the Dog and Parrot, which is dead, almost dead opposite. Dog and Parrot is one of the greatest real ale pubs in this country. So why would Oliver's opposite try and turn to real ales? They don't need to. They do decent beers, they have a party atmosphere late on, and it brings something different to the end of that town that is much needed. And I like it, personally. I think it is a great vibe in there. And I think they've got their head screwed on. I think they know what they're doing. So I'm very much looking forward to, and then that Carvery sounds great as well. Every Sunday, every Wednesday, Carvery. Looking forward to that. Definitely gonna come back and eat. So they've got a sister pub in Brinsley, which is also great. Remember being in there. But second new one of the crawls. Never done this before. Phoenix Q Sports Bar. Didn't come in it last time. Didn't know if they had a bar uh, that was gonna be open to the public or not, but they have. So Phoenix Q Bar is my 10th stop of the day. Uh, and then thought we'll go from here. Honestly, I'm well pleased to have been in here because it's one that I missed. I didn't know if they had a public bar or not. They do. And it's league night, pool night. The world for people in here. Playing pool on these. So there are 10, 10 pool tables. You can watch the football here as well. 10 pool tables down here. All of it's obviously been, been taken up by the league and things like that. But this, uh, this is what? Uh, up I say on a. Uh, Thursday night and it's this busy. Six snooker tables upstairs as well. <laughs> Stuff on the bar, including, I'm gonna walk around, there's a red dog ale on around the back. Oh, there's a red dog ale on in the corner up there. It's not gonna, it's not the pumpkin on. Brand, one of red dog, and I love red dog ales. They are super guys. Uh, and the, the IPA that I've got on here was absolutely wonderful. Load of stuff on the bar. Great little place, love it to see it so busy. Very much what if you, if you wanna go with Paul, <laughs> no we're better to come shorter than this. Want to go to Paul Gamma Snooker? I don't think you'll find a better place to, to have one in than in there. Come on out busy as well for a Thursday night. Great to see. So, three to do. First of which is Green King. That does say sun in. I know it's uh, difficult to read it up there. Bastard Great in the, in the Shadow of Morrison's. Massive Great Pub and Roundabout. Uh, last time I was in Eastwood, I had a kebab from Mario's over there. And it was honestly one of the worst kebabs I've had on my travel. So, what time to eat in Eastwood? Personal preference is I probably wouldn't go there. There seems to be a lot of other kebab shops. We're going to try one of them on the way home tonight. So yeah, Sun Inn is my third to last stop. But this, the wine vaults, dog and power to do. But this is around the front. Function hotel does have it does have bedrooms and still stuff still. Green King Pub, Sun Inn. Let's be having ya. King Pub sounded a bit new to me. I've seen this before? Raspberry lemonade lilies. I've got it. Let's try it. Oh, that's very nice. All of the lilies are very good, aren't they? But that, yeah. Raspberry lemonade lilies. Very good. Passion fruit martini when I'm Abbott's old trip. Standard stuff, and a Green King. 
you would expect to find. Really old school pub, isn't it? Watch all the football and stuff in here. And these. So I do like this icebreaker pale as well quite often. So that is what you have on offer in here. Old school vibe, old school pub. Pub. Function hotel, like I said, and stuff as well. Goes a long way down. Obviously does Green King meals and stuff. But yeah, that is uh, pretty much what you've got on offer in here. Right, on to my penultimate stop of the night. Proper rock boozer. This is, I mean, proper rock boozer. Run by a lovely couple, uh, a couple of ladies that are, they take no shit. Um, well respected in the community. Do a wonderful job of, of bringing this fantastic. So this might be the oldest pub. This is this or the three tons in Eastwood. One, one or the other is the oldest pub here. They're both wicked old buildings. Um, like I said, this has been really picked up by the scruff of the neck and made into something quite special, to be honest, by the ladies that run it. It's got the old wine vaults. It's deceptively large, trust me, because inside a wealth of things. Uh, proper rock pub, but it's the they've got an open mic night on tonight. I'm well looking forward to uh, seeing what Peter have got to offer. I love this place. Glad to be back. But I'm stopping the night. Our wine vaults. Super open mic night going on here. So I, I love this place. It's not. It's not going to set any records for the beers that are on our pub because they're not what they go for. It's a rock. It's a proper old school rock pub. Gaffer tape underneath. The large stuff. Yeah. 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 We've got hobgoblins yeah. But great little setup. Great idea. Exactly what this enemies would need. A proper rock pub doing some really. It's, it's a really professionally run. The last that's running it, Hannah. She is really professional. Really good. Really nice to see. I I love this place. What they're doing in the old wine vaults is superb. <laughs> an open mic night, I, I love an open mic night anyway. Well supported, being really well run. But, penultimate stop was there. So, final stop of mine. This absolute beauty, the Dog and Parrot. I love this pub. I really do. It's one of my favourite places in Nottinghamshire. If not the entire country. It's beautifully run by the Mayor, Catherine, the Mayor of Eastwood. Lovely lady. And her other half, Dave. Catherine's in charge, we all know that. But it's, it's a wicked place. Wicked beer selection. Just a great ale house. And where else could I really finish up a trip to Eastwood? One of my favorite places, Dog and Para. Stop 14, 14 out of 14, Dog and Para. There's nowhere else I could have finished with it. So uh, Catherine's treating me to a part of Sea Dog, Bang the Elephant. This is a hell of a porter as well. Mm. Look at me picking her here. This is, this is a quiz. Quiz and sticky 13s. Quiz and sticky, quiz and sticky 13s. 13s. The mayor of Eastwood, by the way, bow down because you're not worthy. But yeah, look at this though. Look at some of the, uh, some of the things they have on in here. So this is what I've got. No, he isn't. No, he isn't. No, he isn't. No, he isn't. Carry on. Go about your business. Your business and pretend that I'm not here. No, he isn't. No, he isn't. Go about your business and pretend I'm not even here. Little garden. Look on this. Look. look at this. Look how wonderful this is. Look. Okay, yeah. What a great little garden space this is. And you need to come and gents to me. I don't say this very often to you on video, do I? There's no one here with some going, but look at this. Look. Apparently, rumour has it, but that's how they make carling. That might be how to make carling, but don't, don't tell anybody. Uh, yeah. What a wicked place there. I love this pub. It's one of my favourite in the country. Look how busy it is. That's why it's so busy. It's so well done. Such a great pub. 5% port on Bandy Elephant. This is a, This is phenomenal. They're doing the quiz results. I wouldn't have done very well if I played the quiz. Life fake. Honestly, every time I come in here, the ambience, the vibe, the customers, the people, I love it. I can't say better things about it than I do already. I love it. It's amazing. Please come to Eastwood and give it a chance if you haven't already, because it is one of those pubs that just, it will always resonate with me. It's been one of the greatest pubs I've ever been in. And I love everything about it. So, as always, guys, thank you so much for watching. It really, please, if you don't subscribe already, please do hit that subscribe button, because it really makes a difference. It really does make a difference to us. Um, follow us on Facebook. Follow us on the rest of them. The more you guys help, the more pubs we can get out to, the more free publicity we can give, the more we can do it. So, yeah, please do it. Thanks for watching, guys. Uh, we're off to Bourne tomorrow, so look out for that video and Matlock on Saturday. As always, keep supporting the channel, and thank you so much. We love you all. I'm off for a kebab. But not from Mario's. I'll find a new one.
shit tonight, but let's look at like it's a Thursday night. Wow.